Hi, I'm Sean Larry from Fitzpatrick's Real Estate and welcome to The Buzz for Thursday the 9th of November. Just out here at Apex Park in front of Lake Albert. Uh, a lot of people out here using the walking track and uh, definitely over the weekend there's a lot of boats and activity out on the water. Uh, well, something for buyers this week, uh, there's only five to six Saturdays left for open homes to so get out and check out the stock and see what's about, doing your research. But if you really want to be in your new home by Christmas, you're going to want to commit to a property in the next fortnight, considering time for finance, building pests and all those sorts of things. Um, so if Christmas is a deadline for you, uh, we urge you to sort of seriously consider your property in the next fortnight. Some stats for the week. Last week we had 31 open homes, we met 100 people uh, with an average of 3.2. It was the same number of open homes as the previous week, that 31, but the previous week we met 177 people with an average of 5.7. So the average down a little bit on the previous week. We had 16 offers, that was down from the previous week's 12. Seven sales, again down from the previous week's 12. We listed eight properties, that was up from the week before of six. And we had 10 market appraisals, so that was down from the week before's 18. So you can see from the offers and sales, there's a bit more activity there from the, that side of things than the appraisals and listings. So running a little bit low on stock, if you are thinking about selling your property, it's still a good time to give one of the agents a call, get us in, talk about listing your property prior to Christmas, having it on the market for that transitional period, people moving to Wagga, making that tree change. We're talking about your strategy for the new year. As scary as it sounds, if you are thinking of leaving town before Easter, you really need to think about doing something now. Last weekend, we had the great result of 24 to 26 Brookong Avenue. The auction there with Andrew McLeod sold for a bit over 700,000 under competitive bidding. So a good result there and still strong inquiry for large central Turvey Park blocks. This weekend, a few of the properties I'll mention. Six Lindsay, again, another big block in Turvey Park. This is going to auction with Helen Woodhouse. It's four bedrooms, one bathroom with a single car garage plus a studio. That'll be open from 11 a.m. and 1.30 on Saturday. Nine Thorn Street, another central auction. Great location, the cul-de-sac end of Thorn Street. Uh, Brendan Maddock will be running that one. It's three bed, one bath with two car accommodation. It's got the rear lane, so very popular for central streets, that rear lane. Um, and that one will be open from 12 noon and 1.30. Uh, and 199 Lake Albert Road, I'll be there on Saturday. Three bed plus one bathroom, single car garage, plus a study, plus a studio, and it's all on a block that's 1,655 square metres. So one of the biggest central residential blocks you'll find, I think. So that one will be popular and I'll be there at 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Saturday. And for Tarandi with Matthew Neely, it's listed at 519,000. It's your four bed, two bath, double lock up garage with a pool in a lovely elevated spot there on the top of Birklands. Uh, and that one will be open from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So again, hope to see you all out and about on the weekend. If you do have any inquiries about getting your property on the market at the moment, contact us at the office or online. I'm Sean Larry. I'll see you about. Thanks for watching.